So my day started like any other. Well, no, it started like every other. Reached down for my suitcase, and there's a ukulele case. Not a violin, not a guitar, but a ukulele. So I think, all right, let's see how this plays out. Get out of the station, what do you know? Immediately I hear ukulele music pouring out of the jazz club across the street. Typical. Of course, I go in, sit down at the bar. It's one of these tiki clubs. I love the late 1950s. So I order myself one of these gods filled with rum and pineapple and melons and shit, and it's delicious. I figure this is part of my assignment, right? I'm enjoying this drink. <laughs> and I think, you know what? Maybe today won't turn out so bad after all. Then the owner spots me. Well, no, he spots my ukulele, right? And he wants me to play him a little song. He's one of these overweight wannabe mob types that clog this era. And I try to explain to him, this isn't my ukulele. This isn't even my shirt. But he's not having it. Apparently, this is some kind of fancy ukulele. So he's taking this as, I think I'm too good to play in his club. He starts getting all riled up, swearing. <laughs> he, his uh, bodyguard comes over. I'm like, fine. You want me to make a fool of myself in your club? No problem. It's not like I'm going to see any of these people ever again. Get up on stage. Get out the ukulele. And this is where it gets interesting. I can play. <laughs> and I don't mean like some kind of hula song. I mean really play. I think I heard someone weep. I wanted to cry. And I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm playing and I'm all caught up and, I, and I'm thinking, what does this mean about who I am? What does this mean about what I do? And I don't even see the bouncer come. And he is yelling something about the boss doesn't like being lied to. Next thing I know, I'm kicked out and my ukulele's broken. Oh, that guy's going to come on later. And I have a broken ukulele. You can imagine how I felt. I haven't had a clue like this in months. So I go back to the case, right? Always back to the case. And I search it for some kind of information. And what do you know? Cornelius Cook, ukulele maker. And I, I can't tell you how that ukulele music affected me. I mean, it felt like today might be my day. This might be my time. I mean, I've always liked the 1950s. This, this could be it. And I know. I just know I have to see this man. It's, his shop is clear across town, but I'm afraid to get on the subway because I'm afraid I'm going to jump again, right? So I'm just, I'm going to walk there. And I walk all day, I mean all night into the day, and I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of starting to trip out a little bit. I'm, I'm thinking, what if the ukulele maker is my maker? And who am I going to meet when I go to that shop? You know, what if I meet you? So I get there, and it's early in the morning. So they're closed, of course. And I, I wanted to just bang down the door and, and demand answers. But I, <laughs> luckily, I pulled myself together a little bit. And I thought, all right, what's around here? How can I kill an hour until they open? I look across the street. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's foggy memory, I'm trying to recall. And there's a barbershop, and I think, 
Well, I could spruce myself up a little bit, right? Like, I might meet my maker. I should look good. So I waltz into this place kind of giddy. I mean, I almost forget myself. And immediately, I feel things go south. You kind of get this almost premonition, like how farmers can tell when it's going to rain. And I knew today was not my day. There's some guy in the chair. He's some kind of mob boss, the real kind, because there are armed guards everywhere, and they've pulled their guns on me, and I realize I'm holding the fucking ukulele case. I look like some kind of assassin, and I'm not even his assassin, not this time. I'm just trying to get, you know, my hair cut. But guns start firing, and I just start swinging that ukulele case around and around and around, and there's mirrors and scissors, and before I know it, everyone's dead. And this is just another fucking weapon. And this is just another day, like all my other days. So I walk past that ukulele maker, back through town, past the tiki shop, and into the next subway station to get back on my train, to do it all over again. <laughs>